So hello there. I have a new purchase and a new upgrade that I'm doing to my system. I'm replacing my current heatsink. It's an Octua C14S, the one that blows the air down. It's been running well. It's been um, running my Alder Lake um, 12700K2, um, what's the max five? It's been running my CPU with a max P core of uh, 5,297 megahertz. So that's a good overclock, but I thought the Alder Lake CPU seems to be very overclockable and I wanted to push it to where it's stable because it's going to be my, my daily work machine and you know I need it to be reliable too, but I don't mind um, overclocking it for a bit and then you know enjoying the benefits for years so even my last pc which was a uh, more than a decade ago that i built um, i left it overclocked at i put it on a matx build and i left it overclocked at up 3.5 gigahertz basically and it's been running like that for years so i'd like to do the same on this machine so i got this uh vetro vitro cooler i was looking around and um, I saw that um, MSI had a 12th gen LGA 1700 um, AIO2, but it was all black and I wanted to get a white radiator. So um, I saw this uh, Vitro Lurker all-in-one 240mm liquid CPU cooler. So it's the V240 and it says it's it's if you can see it here intel 12 C, 12 cpu lga 1700 ready so if you can see that down there there you go so that's kind of the reason why i got this because the others um it looks like you have to call them uh to get the lga 1700 bracket so i got this because i expected to have the bracket already and hopefully it would be a quick install though i do have to wait for some parts because um reading about or, or watching some of the videos for this cooler um, it seems like the fan noise might be um, a little bit louder than the the normal ones or the, the, the good quality silent fans, basically. So I actually ordered a couple of um, rubber rubber gasket so that I could put them in between um, the radiator and the fan and also the case. And hopefully that would reduce the noise. So I'll do an unboxing for this. So yeah, let's look what's in, let's see what's inside. So here's the cooler. Ventru, not familiar with the brand, but I've seen them around. I think they make other, other coolers too. And the reason why I got it is because it's color white and the LGA 1700 support here. So the others, you'd have to call their customer service and get it. But with this one, I just want to get it and install it and set it up and let it rip or let it run. So let's see what we got here. Okay, packaging, nice. Looks like it's got your foam here. So, parts, so they do have all the instructions here. Hopefully it'll be uh, easy to read. So they have the AMD install over here and you have the Intel install over here. So it seems to be sim similar to how you installed the um, heat, heat sink anyways. So let's see, it's nice, it's compact, it's not too big, which is great. So you're saving space. It has enough of the, uh, you know, just enough padding to make sure that the product is good. So let's get this one out first. We have two fans. Ventrum branded fans. Okay. Then you have the okay, fan connector and the RGB connector. So you got that two same thing here. Got the fan connector. 
an RGB connector. Fans. Does it have any other wire here? Okay, and then you have the. Let's get these ones first. Okay. So you have the installation pieces. So I would say let's check. Okay, so, oh great! So you have the splitter here, so I could connect the two fans into one header, or one CPU header. And then you have the okay. So let's do this later. Let's, let's start with this one. So you have the tool set here. They, it, it even comes with a thermal paste. That's pretty neat considering the price. Well, I mean, this is I would say a budget cooler in a way. I saw some a couple of other brands. I think there's an EVGA that's a bit cheaper and the MSI is just 10 bucks um, more for their 240. So I would say this is a, I guess you would say a budget or mid-range cooler. It's really hard to say. Um, but yeah, they're, they're less expensive than the other ones that I saw that are like three, the bigger ones and some more, some of the branded ones, which went up to 150. I think a Corsair was like 150 or 160. I was looking at that initially, but it didn't say on the product page that it has the, um, LGA 1700 already. So, okay. Brackets for AM4, LGA 12, 1200. Okay, so where is the 1700? So you have this one for the fan extras, then the back plate. Okay, so Intel back plate. Okay, oops. 1200 and the, the 1150 or okay. this pieces here bracket for the AI, uh, for the um, AIO here I guess to put okay and so then you have this Intel bracket or Intel backplate rather. Hmm, it might better not be missing anything. There's one here, I'm not sure what that one is for. Put the screw there. So you have the AM4, the 20 something, and I'm guessing this would be the one for, what's this, 1700 then? So, okay. So this would be. So this would be the back plate for the, so you see the 17XX here. So that's probably where it should be placed. So, okay, there, the notch should be there for the 1700. Let me just get this ready. So I won't be installing it today because, oh, the kind of popped out really easy. Okay, you gotta be careful with this. See, this one kind of just and was pulling it. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so the back plate. So with this back plate, just have to see the notch that they're the correct one, basically. So it has also the guess this is in a way good it would be semi-permanent in a way because it has the the tape here so it'll stick to your um, back plate of the Intel hopefully you don't encounter any hopefully we don't encounter any problems if you're using the same thing where we have to remove it again I'm hoping this will last for a while and let's see this one that's why I got this is because it's uh, white and it's the same color of my my case radiator uh, and then you got this braided cable and then you have this oh shiny shiny I 
perfect in a way where you've got the RGB for the lights here if you want it you don't have to plug it in if you don't want to and of course the pump header for the pump header but if you notice this is a three pin so I think you're limited to running it at a certain minimum um, it's my first AIO so I'm not really sure how I'll be controlling it but we'll see okay, let's put you back in we have okay. so I won't be installing it today I need to wait for the rubber gaskets for the fan okay so this is the the controller as you could see here the RGB controller you can plug the fans in here or any other um, RGB lighting maybe so you have the button here to change it to change the mode I'll probably just directly connect the the RGB here to the motherboard and let the motherboard manage all of that light stick also of course you'll need the SATA or SATA connection port here to power them all up and then you actually have a switch here which you could put on the reset button because the reset button now unlike before where sometimes you'll get stuck somewhere you could just use the reset button now to just change the um, colors I don't remember in the last 10 years that I've really used the reset the reset button but but back in the day things will get stuck and then you know keyboards won't work you'll just get stuck and um, you know it's just a quick click and then you reboot and then get to do what you're doing now either well if, if your stuff it's getting stuck I guess you could just yeah you hold the power 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 it off and then power it back on but before with the you know the uh, things could get stuck with various stuff like with the floppy drive CD drive or Omega disk you're running some programs or whatever but yeah so you could use that reset button um, for this to change the colors instead then and then it has a magnet here so this could stick to any metal surface actually yeah you could stick it on the side of your case basically so that's what we've got we have let's go back over the, over them the of course the radiator and the fan you got this Intel backplate and it it is uh it does have the intel 1700 or 17 xx here um uh spacing rather so that's great and that's the reason i got it anyways so you got the bracket here for 1700 for intel i'll be using that then you have the other bracket here for the 1200 and the um 1150 something and then of course your pretty much comes with a thermal tape and the rest of the stuff and then the brackets that you'll attach to the to the um, to the heat sink what do they call it in AIO not the, but the um, this part this end right here I guess the where the pump is so the header I guess we'll, we'll say just the header for now and then this one's AM4 so you have the AM4 here and you have the 20 XX probably for Intel um, the, the other Intel um, sizes okay so I'll start building it it'll take me a while and also in um, other than these I actually will be using so this won't be straight build using just the uh, the Ventru Vetru sorry Vetru Vetru Vitru or Vetru lurker I actually got some 120 uh, gaskets to reduce the noise I really like having my you know my my PC fairly quiet I'm running the Noctua um, C14s which is quiet and only ramps up when it's when there's a lot of load on it so even when I'm gaming I rarely hear it and um, it's just those um, times that when when you know when the load is higher then then I'll hear it ramping up but I'm gonna add it here because I heard from other reviews that the fan could get loud so hopefully this will kind of you know kind of maybe the vibration reduce the vibration and I will also 
in put in the a copper heat sink on my main drive so it does have a heat sink already from the MSI on top on top of the um, on top of the M2 drive but I thought because um because uh, the Cardia drive that I got had a full heat sink so it the temps on there looks great I've seen the temps there just bare you know it's it's just it's managed really well so I thought I'm going to do that to the um to the main drive that I have to the uh, P5 plus basically so I'm going to put a put this copper heat sink on the bottom and then have the the heat sink on top basically so hopefully that'll even reduce the reduce the temps more so these are the updates that I'll do not just install this I'll also put that in and I even found this fan from back in the day that I'm trying to see if I could maybe put in somewhere so it's can you see that silence x fan i'm not sure what the brand is i had this for a long time and um silent x and i will uh I, when i saw it it's like hey maybe i could throw it in somewhere maybe on the vrm because i the arctic aio had that um fan there right a 40 mm fan so i thought I, I think i have something that that would look pretty you know i mean it, it would look pretty cool because it's it's like golden color with all the rgb it'll probably look pretty cool there but i don't know where i'm gonna put it in it but maybe i'll find a way to put it in if if, if, if this helps cool the vrm since i want to make sure that the overclock is stable and uh, you know and get to dissipate any heat that i can from the system so okay we'll get back to you on the, the install then